Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. And hello from right outside of Disney's Hollywood Studios to talk about a big update here at Walt Disney World. So starting today, which is February 17th, 2022, guests who are fully vaccinated are no longer to wear masks indoors or outdoors. So you no longer have to worry about wearing a mask if you are fully vaccinated. And for guests who are not fully vaccinated, Disney is still asking you to continue to wear your mask while indoors. However, if you're not fully vaccinated or fully vaccinated, Disney is still asking everyone to continue to wear a mask while on public transportation, such as the Skyliner, the buses, and the monorail. I do think that is more of a federal or state thing as far as wearing masks on public transportation. Now, Disney won't be asking you for any proof of your vaccination but they will be going off a honor system. Disney did write this on their website, and I quote, we expect guests who are not fully vaccinated to continue wearing face coverings in all indoor locations, including indoor attractions and theaters. And this new updated policy is coming just days after Universal Orlando updated their mask policies over there. Also, this goes for Disneyland guests as well over on the West Coast. As you guys can see, as I'm about to head inside Mickey's of Hollywood, which is the gift shop here at the front end, Entrance. There's no more signs of any kind regarding masks. You can just walk right in. Also here at the restaurants, there's no more signs regarding face coverings. Finally, here at the attractions, there are no longer signs regarding masks at all. I am still seeing a decent amount of people still wearing their face coverings, but I'm seeing even more people not wearing any face coverings at all. I'm quickly looking at the current wait times. Right now, Rise of the Resistance is a 240 minute standby wait. Smokers Run 115, Slinky Dog Dash 100, in 45 minutes geez it's very busy there's no longer a slow season at all here's my own thoughts and opinions here i'm so glad to hear that it is now your option if you want to wear a mask or not when you're here on your disney vacation or your orlando vacation and i like that freedom of choice i think it's long overdue especially now that cases aren't as high i mean COVID is still a thing, but hopefully we don't have a surge or a spike. I think if you're coming here for your Disney vacation through this year, you don't have to worry about wearing a mask, which is nice. I'm starting to wear my mask a little less, but I do tend to keep it on a little bit more just because I am around a lot of people every single day. Plus we have some travel plans coming up, but when I am around like a lot of people conjugated all in one place, I, I'm going to wear my mask, but I am fully vaccinated and boosted. So that is starting to make me feel more comfortable inside of the parks. Plus cases are just pretty low right now here in Florida. That is all that I have for you guys in this very quick video. I just wanted to stop here at Hollywood Studios before my meeting just to bring you guys this new information to keep you guys informed. But please feel free to leave me comments down below. Let me know how you guys feel about this new policy. Are you guys relieved? Glad? Do you hate it? I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and YouTube. I will see you in the next video. Prince Charming out. Goodbye. I am feeling lonely. In a morning, man, it's time to end the ride. Fading it too slowly. Where those can lift me up this time. You were the only one who got me tripping up inside.